Everybody in Lancashire has a textile story. Everybody has been affected and connected to the textile industry in some way. And so that's really what this is about. It's about finding ways to celebrate that and the culture that that grew here. And I think the real impact is that this textile story is not just a historic story, it's a live story now. I've come in with some of my family today from Manchester to have a look at the exhibition. It's been really thought provoking and a really surprising experience to come here and see the work. It was really awe inspiring and quite moving actually, more moving than I imagined it could be. I think it's great inspiration for the people who are here to know that if they try hard, they work hard and they, they have a talent, then the sky's their the limit really. Jamie Holman is our British Textile Biennial Artist in Residence. He's kind of looking into the idea of culture and what culture means to people and how they express it personally through things like trainers and through Acid House. All of that is about how everyday, ordinary people express culture and that's what we've then taken on to the whole biennial and tried to express that through the series of different things that we've been doing. People taking over old buildings that had such a rich kind of heritage and doing something with them that's modern and, and using it to talk about what's going on today as well. It's just perfect. I went to Queen Street Mill with my mum. It's really powerful, but it's, it's not inaccessible. And she's not an arty person at all. She really enjoyed it. She got a lot from it. But they were really interesting to see how their stories were translated through textile, through the cloth that's actually been made in the local mills as well. The Adidas exhibition was really interesting. It was good to see people of Blackburn who might not necessarily go to art events and stuff get really excited about it. People didn't comprehend the magnitude of what was going to happen. So we had people in from Hong Kong, from Australia, from Paris, from Los Angeles. My favourite shoe was the Adidas Blackburn. They were really, really good. There were a few pair of trainers that I wanted to see in the flesh and it was good to see them, like the Adidas Liam Gallagher that I couldn't get my hands on. I thought it were really good. For me, the T-shirts is like a political canvas is really interesting. That's kind of what inspired us for our workshop as well. It's interesting to see how that's evolved over time. I've come all the way from Manchester to see the biennial. I um, love football, love fashion, so I've just had to make the effort. And the exhibition is fantastic. It's really nice to see such a wide range of like contemporary banners and old banners, but in this like old historic sort of setting. It's our local history. It's wonderful. We still have all these amazing buildings. And like seeing lots of other people there was awesome because like a small place like Bryfield and Nelson is like an amazing thing to have. Normally we have to just travel out of town all the time to find things like this. So it's been nice to see something local that young people can see. I just think it's wonderful to celebrate Blackburn on a wider scale a little bit and hopefully they'll just sort of promote the area and, and bring people in. It motivates me to see everybody around me doing really inspiring things, you know, it gets me wanting to make work and wanting to be involved in stuff. Everybody that I know that is from Lancashire has some memory or some experience of either cotton in their family or how they feel about the industrial landscape that we've been left with. So I think Lancashire is definitely the right place for it. Because it's kind of, it's our roots and it's where we've come from. So just to be connected to that, I think it's really good. We've got a really good future in these spaces again. That we're reimagining these mills and factories and these shops in these towns all the time and we should be confident about what we do next. Okay.